Hi again, everyone, and welcome back to One English Tip in One Minute for Spanish Speakers, where every week I talk about in some detail one common English mistake made by those who speak Spanish as a mother tongue. And this is the 28th video, so video number 28. I've said it 27 times before, and I'll say it again. So I totally appreciate the fact that you are trying to improve your English. And I feel just as strong about that now as before. Actually, even stronger if you've made it through these videos. So nice work. In these videos, I show you a slide. And on the slide, there are two sentences. One is the correct way that I, as a native English speaker, would say it. The other is the wrong way that maybe you, maybe not, as a Spanish speaker, might say it. And your job is to decide which one is correct. So please do that now. Read the sentences. Listen to me read the sentences. Pause the video. Think about your answer, and I will discuss that answer in the slide that follows this slide. Which is correct? I agree with him, or I am agree with him? So pause the video and think about it. The correct answer is I agree with him. And this mistake arises because the Spanish translation for agree is an adjective, but in English, agree is a verb. So one way around this is you could use agreed upon to make it an adjective. So the agreed upon time, the agreed upon date, the agreed upon terms of the contract. So you are in very good company if you got this wrong or if you got it right, but just made a wild guess and happened to get it right. It's the reason that this mistake is even in these videos. So what you have to do now, hopefully you now understand why we say it the way we do. And now you should study to get past this mistake. So to start you off on that path, and it's a very simple beginning, I know, I've given you three sentences to study from. So memorize the sentences in their entirety, review them, really hardwire them into your brain, and put into practice what you've learned through speaking or writing or both. And go outside of these videos and learn from all the resources that are out there, or a few of them. You don't need all of them, 